We learned today that the popular iPhone 4 keeps a record of everywhere you go and stores it up to a year. For those with privacy concerns, the real problem is nobody ever told users this, and there is no way to opt out. As a researcher into the matter, put it to the Guardian newspaper in the UK today, Apple has made it possible for almost anybody, a jealous spouse, a private detective, on and on, with access to your phone or computer to get detailed information about where you've been. Which brings us to Michigan, where when state police pull you over, they now use a device that can download even more personal information from your cell phone, Apple or otherwise. The handheld extraction device can access text messages, photos, videos, GPS data, we're told they can even bypass security passwords to get that information. And you don't have to be suspected of doing anything wrong to get what the critics are calling your privacy invaded, your rights violated. Our legal team is on the case. Arthur Idala, former prosecutor and now Fox News legal analyst. And from our Atlanta newsroom, defense attorney Drew Findling. Drew, uh, extracting everything from your cell phone, uh, is, I, can you do that? You know, it's, it's so ridiculous. I actually called former deputy commissioner for the IRS. I mean, the number two man for the IRS, Joe Pagani, um, you know, one of the toughest guys that I know. And he just thought the whole thing was ridiculous. He'd already read about it and said, just couldn't believe from a law enforcement perspective this would take place. Notice you haven't re read any any opinion by an attorney general's office in the state of Michigan because this thing is going to go by the wayside. You need probable cause to think that an offense has been perpetrated. Simply pulling somebody aside for a traffic offense does not give you the right, let alone to search their vehicle, but to go into their cell phone or to go into their, their Blackberry and discern who they text messaged, who they emailed, who they've communicated yeah. with their pictures. It is ridiculous. Punt. It's gone. If, they, if a cop or anyone, a law officer of the law, pulls you over, they can ask to search your vehicle if they don't have probable cause, and you can say yes or no. And if you say Correct. no, they have to go to a judge, and they have to get a search warrant to be able to do it. And the judge has to, they have to show to the judge probable cause, yet they can just take my cell phone and take everything? Well, I don't think they can. I don't think they can just take Oh, but, uh, but they can. Well, they're, no, they're doing it. Okay. That doesn't mean they're supposed to be doing it. First of all, Ship, the first part of your segment here about the iPhone is scary. Yeah, that, that was the stunning and news. Of the day I, I agree with you. I, yeah. I'm still a little stunned by that. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's really nuts. I mean, you want to talk about a crime, uh, crime solving device? Wow. Number two is I thought originally the device that the cops had is that you didn't know that they were, if they, they were close enough, almost through a no. Bluetooth connection, they, they need to take it and, and download it. The issue is going to be litigated in the courts is if they do have probable cause, can they even can they do that even with probable cause even, because right now they're doing it without probable cause a lane change is not illegal lane change is not probable cause. and the probable let, cause usually let, let you, is Jeff, there a weapon in the that's... car that someone's going to grab and therefore they're going to search the car or is there drugs in the car that someone's going to eat and swallow and destroy them therefore they can search the car the phone's not really going anywhere so no. this is going to be litigated Jeff, let me tell you those of us that that support those of us that support the ACLU hope that Michigan continues to act as stupid as it is because money is going to come in from all over the country to support the ACLU in this litigation. So from a, from a financial perspective, the ACLU would probably make millions, if not tens of millions, from contributions for pure stupidity. Drew Findling in our Atlanta newsroom, Arthur Idala here on set. Thank you both. Good to see you guys. Thanks, yep.